Hi there, my name's Andy Hillier, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to play the awesome new song by Silk Sonic uh, called Love's Train. It's a really cool, funky little track, uh, cool chords in it. I'm going to teach you the whole thing. Just before I do, though, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, which is Andy Hillier, give me a like on the video, and please leave me some comments, including any songs you'd like me to do. And if you love what I'm doing, and you want to support me, and you want to print the tabs off of this, I'll put it on my Patreon page. I'll leave a link to that in the description. My guitar's in standard tuning. Now the song starts with a little intro that sounds like this. So for that, the first chord is a D major seven. First finger on E10, second finger on B10, third finger D11, little finger on G11. And your first finger will touch the A string so it doesn't uh, ring out. And it's gonna go down, up, up, down. So you've got down, up, up, down. And then it's gonna hit this chord which is a B over C sharp. First finger on B7, second finger on G8, third finger on the E string on the ninth fret, and little finger on D9. So you can hit that with a down stroke into the next bar, and it goes up, up, down, down, and then it jumps back to the D major seven. Uh, but let's just play these first two bars. Uh, here it goes. One, two. Then you're holding on to the next bar, and then it goes up, up, down on that D major seven. It jumps back to the B over C sharp, and then you're just gonna stab it on beat three of bar four. So the whole line goes. takes us to the verse. Now the verse, really funky little line, sounds like this. So to play that, first chord is E over F sharp. First finger just goes flat across the A, D, G and B strings on the ninth fret. And it goes down, up, down, then another hit down, then an upstroke on an F sharp minor seven chord, which is your first finger stays where it is. You put your second finger on B10 and your third finger on D11. So you get this. So just on the last chord, you change and put your other two fingers down. So you got. So it just does that for two bars. Uh, and then we go down to B minor seven and we got. So for that, B minor seven, second finger E seven, third finger across the D, G and the B strings at the seventh fret. And you're gonna go down, up, down, down. So and then we're gonna hit this. Uh, which is kind of like an A triad. Uh, second finger on B10, first finger on G9, third finger D11, just with a little upstroke. So bar seven goes. And then there's uh, a little line that goes. Which is B minor seven. We're gonna do two hits on that, down up. And then you've got to jump to five on the B string, seven on the uh, G string, and seven on the D string. So, you've got so, so probably the easiest way is to use maybe your first, second, and third fingers for that hit. So got, and then jumps back to the sevens on the D, G, and the B. Then down to the five, seven, seven, 
and that back to the se sevens. So hopefully that makes sense, I guess. And then you hit the B minor seven chord again. And then up to that little A triad that we had in the previous bar. So you get. Slowly. Um, so the whole line up to speed, or a uh, whole line slowly first. Go. Uh, and up speed. Um, and that repeats, so it, it repeats twice uh, before the first verse. So then when it's in the verse, it does the line twice, but on the second time through, it doesn't play bar eight. It just plays uh, bars five, six, seven, and you jump then straight to the chorus. Uh, two lines of the chorus, the first line of the chorus goes like this. So for that, we've got D over an E, so first finger flat across uh, A, D, G and B strings at the 7th fret. The next chord is E over D, so your first finger is across the D, G and the B strings at the 9th fret, second finger on fret 10 of the E string, so two hits on that, and then a C sharp minor 7 chord, which is your second finger on E9, third finger across the D, G and the B strings at the 9th fret, and you're going to hit that uh, with a downstroke and then go down, up, down, so it goes 1, 2, and then straight to an F sharp minor 7 chord. So the first two bars of that line you've got. Then G sharp minor, which is the same shape as C sharp minor but down at the 4th fret. Then B minor, so that same shape at the 7th fret. Then C sharp minor, which is the same shape at the 9th fret. So you've got. D major 7, and then just two more hits on that. So the first line of the chorus, you've got. And the next line of the chorus, um, very similar, it starts the same, the first. Bit. Um, so up to bar 15, then it just jumps from the B minor 7 and then C sharp minor 7 straight to the D major 7 on beat 4 and, whereas before it was in the next bar. So bar 15, you've got 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, and then you're holding that D major 7 into bar 16. Then you're going to have another hit on it and then jump down to a. B over C sharp, like we had in the intro, and then a stab on beat uh, three. So the whole of that second line of the chorus, you've got. Um, so, and so that's uh, jumps back straight to the verse, go through the verse, and then go through the chorus. There's a, a little tiny change on the end of the second chorus. Um, if we've got the second line of the chorus, you play from bars 13, 14, 15, and then you jump straight to this line, where you just hit a D major seven. Um, actually, this D major seven is held on from beat four round of the previous bar. And then it just goes. It's over the um, I love you baby uh, part. It's just a slightly different chord. It's a G major seven, which is first finger on A10, second finger on G11, third finger on D12, and little finger on B12. And you just go digga, digga, uh, down, up, down, up. 
um, for a bar, uh, and then it jumps straight back to the verse. So that's the only slight changes at the end of that second chorus. And then the rest of it is just jumping from the verse to the chorus um, and back and forth. Well, I do hope you've enjoyed that little guitar lesson and found it useful, and hopefully it's been easy to understand. If you have enjoyed it, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, which is Andy Hillier, give me a like on the video. Please leave me some comments as well. Let me know what you thought of the video. Let me know where in the world you're from. Let me know what songs I should do next. And if you love what I'm doing and you want to support me, support the channel, uh, keep me doing this, and you want to print the tabs off for this and loads of other songs, um, I'll put it on my Patreon page. I'll leave a link to that in the description. Well, thanks for watching this. I've been Andy Hillier, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.